This is the weekly weather forecast video for Monday, August the 13th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, we have some cloudiness across the middle part of the country down into the southern plains with the storm system bringing a few showers and a few thunderstorms to our south. Otherwise, it's fairly quiet across the country at this time. The watch warning map from a bit before midnight, the heat advisories, excessive heat warnings over the southwest and the San Joaquin Valley, severe thunderstorm watch over Oklahoma and Arkansas during the early morning hours, and red flag warnings in the Sawtooth Range of Idaho. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Friday evening at 7 o'clock shows that we could get a quite a bit of rain. This also includes rain that fell last night, so maybe upwards of three quarters of an inch, including the storm system coming on Thursday. So let's take a look at that storm system with the 0Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we still have a northwesterly flow aloft. Disturbance moving east of the state into the Great Lakes. The ridge is still to our south and west, and that's where the heat is going to stay, but it'll be slowly easing toward us. Temperatures today, 70s east, 80s west, and we'll be slowly warming up for the few, next few days. Tuesday, a couple degrees warmer, low 80s mainly to the east, mid 80s, and then upper 80s, and maybe a few 90s popping up in the south and southwestern counties. And Wednesday will be the hottest day of the week with temperatures in the 80s to lower 90s. A frontal system is expected to move in that could bring or spark off an isolated shower storm in the northern counties on Wednesday and mainly everywhere else here. Thursday, it'll be clearing quickly behind the front. Northwest Iowa will clear out and temperatures will really take a tumble. 70s for highs and by Friday, we'll have temperatures in the upper 60s to middle to upper 70s and the middle to upper 70s are going to be very hard to find so mainly low to mid 70s Saturday morning we could see temperatures down in the 40s to lower 50s maybe the urban heat island areas such as Des Moines may stay in the mid to upper 50s with highs in the 70s to near 80 Sunday the GFS is wanting to print some showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm it's looking like it's going to stay mainly dry with highs in the 70s to lower 80s. We'll see if that changes. And even a week from today, the trough is still with us. In fact, it looks like it's starting to deepen again. The ridge is really being shunted southward. And the storm track is way to our south now. And maybe a shower or storm around. But we'll have to see about Sunday, however, because a lot of the models have been keeping Sunday dry. And now it's looking like it could be what we'll see couple days later on the 24th. Storm track is still close to us. The ridge, a pretty flat subtropical ridge to our south. Disturbance moving along the U.S. Canadian border near International Falls could bring some showers and maybe a thunderstorm around. At that time, temperatures look to remain eh, a couple degrees either side of 80, maybe lower 80s at this point. We'll see about that. The end of the forecast here on the 28th. Really, the subtropical ridge is now even further south, right along the U.S.-Mexico border and along the Gulf Coast. We still have a slight northwesterly flow, and we could have another disturbance coming through that could create a shower storm again. So we'll see if this pattern, active pattern continues. Now time for the weekly weather forecast.
Thank you for watching the weekly weather forecast video. We'll have our regular forecast video on Tuesday.